Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Oh my goodness, look at this hair today. Mm -hmm. It's giving electrocution, yes. I know I, I flipped my hair upside down and was using the hair dryer to kind of like give it some body. And when I leaned back up, I was like, whoa, well, I'll leave it, <laughs> it's cute. Maybe by the time the video is over, it will have settled down a little bit. Oh, that could be part of the message. Okay, settle down. But anyway, to go ahead and start off, the song that I'm channeling right now is, I'm getting a little tired of your broken promises, promises, looking at your pages, seeing different numbers and numbers. Is that what she said? No, I'm not the one. Say it again, say it again. You know, you do or you don't, don't. You will or you won't, won't. No more, no more. She's like, you can or you can't. Be a man, be a man, man. <laughs> That's the song basically summed up into a few little tidbits here and there, you know. So we have, baby, I'm gonna do it right. You will or you won't, do it, make a move, make a decision. You gonna, you in or you out, basically. Somebody wants to know if someone is in or out. You good? You wanna do this or not? Are we gonna set the date? Are we going to set the time? Are we going to do this? It's like, you're gonna do it or you're not? That's the vibe. It's getting thick in here. Yeah, I said thick. I don't know why I used that verbiage, but I heard thick. So we have thick, settled down a little bit. This reminds me of when I was younger and my mom and dad would be like, stay in or stay out, you know? Like growing up in the South, it was like, if you had to stay in, it was a punishment, you know? But you couldn't come in and out. You better do your business inside before you go outside. Cause if you come back in, bitch, you're staying in. Cause they don't want to let the bought air out. So they'll tell your ass too, like you ain't coming in until it's dark or, you know, dinner is ready or something. Like they still did that shit when I was growing up heavily. I was outside all day playing in the mud and the dirt, playing with worms and shit. Like I loved bugs for some reason, not your typical like female, I guess. I loved bugs, but it was like, a, you know, it was a punishment to come inside. Like if I was inside and the sun was up, I knew I was like in trouble or something or I needed to clean the house, some shit, you know? But anyway, it could be that simple. It could just be like someone like, you know, close the door. Maybe someone gets irritated because someone always leaves the door open or always leaves the air on or always leaves the lights on fucks with the air, the cooling, the heating. Like somebody hates that someone does this all the time because they're like, well, you're not the one that has to pay for the bills or you're making everybody else uncomfortable or decide what you want. I don't know. Maybe someone here has decided on whether or not they wanted to hire a person or fire a person. And they've been going back and forth and there are people who are like, do it. You do or you don't, don't. <laughs> you know, it could be like a couple here getting into it. It's like, uh, you know, make a decision or have they made a decision? Could even be the universe is telling someone, make a decision, are you in, are you out? What do you wanna do? No more riding the electrical fence. Oh, electricity. Remember, I said my hair is giving electrocution. No more riding the electric barbed wire fence. It is cutting you in half now. Yeah, I'm literally seeing a visual. Oh, why would you do that? Here we go. You know how I get them. I get visions. Well, here we go. Picture this. Sicily. 19. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, there's a person literally kind of hovering over a barbed wire fence. Picture something like surrounding a prison. That type fence. There's somebody who's like up in the air. Um, um, like levitating over it. Right? It's like the universe is energetically dangling them there like a puppet and they're like, hey, make a decision or we're going to drop you right in the middle of this fence and not only are you going to get but your ass is going to hurt and the more that you wiggle, the more pain you're going to be in because you're going to be landing on barbed wire. So we're going to need you to make a decision because we're about to make this hurt. Ooh. Ow. Ooh, that's a painful vision. Kinky. You know, the universe is like, how, how hard do you want it? <laughs> what? Someone's like, you like pain? We'll give you pain. Now this could actually just be that uh, somebody here just needs to make a decision. Basically it could be 
the universe giving a message to someone like, if you don't like hurting or you don't like what you're experiencing, then change something about it. You have the control to change something about it. Either change your perspective on it, your view, your approach, change the actual players involved. If you can't change them because you have no say so over other people, change yourself, remove yourself from the equation. Something has to change in order for someone to, it's like, it's almost like the movie Saw. Is it Saw? Like imagine that. Imagine someone dangling over a barbed wire fence that is also electric. Like if they fell on that, it would not only electrocute the shit out of them, but it would slice them and cut them. And the more that they wiggled, which they wouldn't be able to help it, it would tear them to pieces. Oh, damn, spirit. Some like revelations type shit. It's like, don't resist it. Surrender to the shock. Prepare yourself for the blow. Prepare yourself for the shock. And don't resist it. Whatever it is, don't. Someone could be going through something now or in the near future. Or all of us as a people, this could go a million different ways. But it's like, prepare yourself for a future shock. Right now, it's kind of being threatened to us in some way either on a personal level or on a worldwide level. Something from underneath also, but it's like, just wait. It's like, prepare for the shower, cause... Unless the universe chooses to like, place somebody somewhere else so that they do not land on a fucking electrical fence with barbed wire on it, spirit! And spirit says, well, we can do that. So there could possibly be a different outcome is what I'm hearing. But someone has to make a particular decision right now. There's a decision that is being made. Um, it's not the decision has been made. It's the move that hasn't been made yet. The action. The action has to be made. You hear the plane? That is definite action and that is great timing spirit so action has to be made someone has to do now what they have decided it's time to make make a move and why is it time to make a move because spirit is tired of dangling a carrot or spirit is tired of the tease spirit is tired of the lingering in the middle the hovering, the stalking, whatever. There's a whole lot of things going on. Okay, I'm hearing that it's a lot of different. This is going to resonate in a lot of different ways. It will re resonate worldwide, and it will also resonate on many different personal levels. So it's kind of like a massive um, destruction. But we've always been in a massive destruction. I mean, think about it. Even if you're having a good day today, somebody today, the exact same time somewhere across the world, but at the same moment as you, is having the worst day of their life and we're not going to go into why they're having the worst day that that's there's no need to do that maybe it's awful and they don't even want to be alive you know you never know but it's like there's always some sort of something going on at the same time that you're sort of something's going on someone's been lingering in the balance of whether or not they should do something they were trying to make a decision about it they were trying to think be smart Maybe the decision's been made for a while and someone was just being strategic about their moves. There are already traps in place. So if somebody's thinking about it, okay, here's what I'm hearing. There are already traps in place, because think about the fence, right? I'm picturing the fence still and somebody lingering over it and the universe kind of energetically holding someone. And I'm like, okay, wait, the fence, is set in the ground. I mean, it's set there. So it's like a set trap, right? It's like if you choose this path or if you choose not to choose and the universe drops you here, just know this is exactly what your fate is going to be. So it's almost like some people are already set in place or something is already like, look, there's already a clear boundary set with something like if this boundary is crossed, it's going to be the end of you. So watch it. It's like something like that. And I don't mean the end of like, they're going to die. Like someone's been threatened to, you know, or maybe it's like someone just knows better. 
than to cross a specific line because if they do, they're going to be obliterated or their career or their reputation or something. So they know what not to do, right? The fence is in the ground. This could be worldwide. This could be like countries. It's like they know certain boundaries, right? And it, you know, they just know, they know that if they do this and they make this move, they're going to get fucked up. They as in who? I don't know. All of us, probably. If it's not worldwide, it could be on a personal thing where it's like, there's almost this kind of like mutual respect between two forces that don't really want to fuck with each other. Like the fence don't want to be bothered with really, truly, you know, it just wants to sit there and nobody fuck with it. You know, it's electric fence. That's why every now and then a bird maybe runs into it and just, or something. But it's just an electrical fence, electrical barbed wire fence. You have the person who's dangling over it. This is energetically, right? This is all of us or us on a personal level. I also do not want to fall on you as much as you don't want me to fall on you. I don't want to fall on you. I don't want to come into contact with you at all. So it's like, you know, the fence and the person dangling, they don't want to fuck with each other. And they know they could both hurt each other because if the person falls on the fence, it's going to fuck it up. And then they're both going to really harm each other, basically. And so they, they really want to stay away from each other, but the universe is getting tired of it. And the universe is like, make a fucking decision. Make a decision. Are you on this side of the fence? Are you on this side of the fence? Or do you want me to carry you away? Or I can drop you on the fucking fence. Which one do you want? You have four options. Somebody has four options. Actually four. I'm hearing it. Four options. Which is a lot more than we usually get. Spirit's like, I am being more than accommodating this could be like someone's, um, someone could be having like one of their first awakenings ever and they could be resisting this awakening. For those of you who've had several different awakenings in your life, <laughs> which will have so many more, you know, but you know those like first initial awakenings that you have and you're in such resistance to them, you're in resistance to let people go, that's usually the big one. You're in resistance to make certain moves because you don't want to lose, you don't want to, um, you're afraid of what people will think. That's usually the first thing that goes, but letting go of the people is the really hard one. And, um, I mean, fully and walking away and letting go. Right. And, and, um, people are in resistance to that usually in their first awakening for sure. And their first few. And I'm getting that some of you, uh, if this isn't you, this could be a person, you know, that is going through this. Someone's going through this now and they have four, like the universe has given them four options, you know, right now. But they're basically saying, it's time's up. I'm getting a little tired of your broken promises, promises. You know, it's like a waiter or a waitress that keeps coming back to the table and they're like, um, you guys ready? You guys ready yet? Hmm? It's like this couple or these friends or something, these whoever. I don't know how these people know each other. They're sitting in the booth. They're in a booth because they like the booth better. The table is not comfortable. Nobody likes the table spirit. Picture this. <laughs> I'm a visual person. Can you tell? So, waitress comes up, so she takes their order, but not their order order, because they're not ready yet, right? So she gets their drinks, but they don't know what they want to drink yet either, so they just order water, and they get water, or maybe, maybe like a Coke, but just one, and then they get like some waters, right? <laughs> so the waitress goes, she comes back, she comes back about seven times, and they still don't know what they want to eat yet. Now, a couple of them at the booth do know what they want to eat. Or if there's only two people, one of them at least is ready, but the other one still ain't fucking ready yet. And it's like, okay, you know, it's th that, that's the universe. The universe is doing that right now. They're giving me that visual that they are tired of coming to a person. Or maybe there's an individual here who's like waiting on someone to make a move and they haven't done it yet. So they're like, I'm going to get someone else to wait on you <laughs> because I got things to do today. Maybe, maybe it's quite literally like that. Someone's tired of waiting on someone, like the waitress, the waiter, or the universe could be tired of waiting on us to make a move, make a decision. Could be business partners who are tired of waiting on a decision or waiting on someone to show up and get the job done, you know? Or it could be like something to do with business. It could be customers who are waiting on a company to get something done or a business to fix a problem or maintenance to fix an issue, but they haven't done it yet. It's like, I'm waiting and I've been patient, but I'm not, I'm getting really tired of your broken promises, promises. My phone rings because I can't say pager anymore. We don't have pagers anymore, but I remember that in beepers and stuff. Looking at your pages, seeing different numbers and numbers. It's like, I'm getting tired of looking at my phone and your number's not on it. 
or anything from you. Maybe you don't know my number, but you know how to get in touch with me. If stalkers can do it, you can do it too. Why are they more dedicated? I need you to be dedicated to this job is what I'm hearing. I need you to be dedicated to this company. I need you to be dedicated to this, this employee, to me, invest in me as a person. I need, I need you to be dedicated to your work. I need you to be dedicated to this decision. Do you want this person or not? Are you in love with them or not? Make a decision. Do not be on the fence. This is what I'm hearing. Wow. It's intense today. It's intense. I feel like the universe is going to spank me or something or somebody. I don't know. This is just literally someone needing to decide to go with a new path, a new choice, a new decision. They already know what they need to do, but they haven't made the move yet they need to sell that thing buy that thing quit that thing leave that person get that person I don't know let them go take them on hire them I mean there's just moves that need to be made um, switch things people may need to switch things they need to go ahead and just do it I don't know, I just keep going back to the song because that was the main thing that started this video was that song from so long ago. Getting a little tired of your broken promises, promises. Yeah, I mean, that's what started this whole message off and it ends in no more. No more is it going to be allowed. No more teasing about it. No more knowing what you want to do but not doing it. No more being paid for a job that isn't being done or paying for something that you're not getting no more waiting to say what you need to say to do what you need to do no more enough time has been spent on examining a situation on knowing what needs to be done now it is time for the action to take place and there's a small window here I'm hearing within like four days, I'm hearing four to five days is a small window of when something has to happen. Action. When action is going to happen, some sort of action. Because if it isn't done on the part of the, it either, like basically the action has to be taken on the person that is being brought forward. If the universe is bringing someone forward or a people like a government, they're gonna have to take action. If they don't take action and make a decision to do something or to stop doing something, something else is going to happen. Now, if it's not like government or anything like that, and it's like closer to home, personal, a personal level, well, friendships, relationships, work, schooling, things like that, moving, it's like someone has to make the actual moves. They're going to have to actually take the action. And they're not going to have a very big window to do it. They're going to have to do it. I mean, everything has its own time and it's time for the action now. And there are four options. Four is very specific here. And now Spirit's giving me a really weird vision of the number four drawn like this. But it's turned upside down and the four looks like a house, like a little, little tiny house. You could call it a hut with a chimney. So this is how I'm seeing it. A four looks just like this in my vision right now, but it's upside down and it's a house and this is the chimney. I mean, you know, that could be like, it's, sometimes it's like a figure of speech. People say things like, I'm going to turn this house upside down. Maybe someone's looking for something, so they like throw shit everywhere because they're trying to find something. <laughs> you know, someone can't find something they've misplaced. Maybe it's their keys or their phone. Someone's going to turn the house upside down to try to find something. Or maybe literally someone's turning the house or things upside down because they're moving and just grabbing shit, throwing it. Or maybe there's like a rush of something, so we have to rush and get things really quickly and then get out. It's something like that. Turn the house upside down. But then also when I see an upside, upside down turned house, I think of The Wizard of Oz 
which is a whole rabbit hole of spirituality. <laughs> There's something to do with in time, doing something in enough time, having enough time, but not a whole lot of time. Not a whole lot of time. There's not a whole lot of time to take the action. I feel like somebody was given a good bit of time to make a decision on something, but they're not going to be given as much time on the action. And then what happens after the action, Spirit? What about that? What happens after the action is taken? Then how much time do you get to do what? What happens then? But then that's whenever Spirit says, Bitch, did I say I had to tell you? Do I have to tell you everything? No, you have to lead with faith. It's like playing a video game. We're up here with the controllers, okay? <laughs> Not really, but, you know, and we're like, look, just like a video game, you don't know what's going to happen next. Not really, unless you Google it. But before Google, you didn't know what was going to happen next, you know, and somebody already had put it out there that played it before you. But somebody had to be the first one to play it, and they don't know what is next. Only the creators know what level, what what demon, what beast, what monster you got to fight next. Only the creators know that. You don't know that until you get to the next level and you're like, fuck, I should have grabbed that knife on the first level because I'm going to need it to fight this. Like, no, there are seven of them. You know, it's like more demons and stuff. It's definitely demonic. So it's like, I want to know what comes next. I mean, don't you? I think we're asking spirit right now. Hey, what comes next after we make this action? So if some of you need to take action on something, spirit says, do it. But then you may want to know what happens after this. Spirit's like, do you know a video game? Do you know the ending of a movie? Do you know the ending of a book? Unless you look it up or you read about it from others who have experienced the exact same thing before, there are no guarantees. And see, for, unfortunately, your game is the only one like its kind. No one is in your actual reality. You are the only one there. So, you can't cheat in this game. You can't see what's coming next. You can only see so far, but you can't see totally. You got this. You're gonna be just fine. Whatever decision you guys are having to make or whatever, uh, not decision, you've made the decision. Whatever action you're having to take, you've got this. 